Hey guys, this is a product that is designed to save energy. If current is drawn from this outlet, these four outlets turn on, these two outlets are always on, so it's good for a desktop computer. So if your desktop is on, your monitor's on, your speakers are on, your scanner, your printer, whatever the case may be. Anyway, so it's great for uh, eh, limited uses. And if not enough current is drawn from the master, it doesn't activate these four ports. So what I'm gonna do is find a way to bypass the master to free the master controlled outlets, these four outlets here. It may involve just soldering the always on ports straight up to the master controlled or finding a way to alter the master circuitry to give the master controlled outlets the ability to be on regardless of the master state. And just a note, this is not powered. Okay, I removed the screws that held down the lid and now we can see the circuitry and the terminals that your devices would connect to. And let's just remove the circuit that controls whether the master controlled outlets are on. Quite a small circuit actually. I believe the IC is on the uh, back end, which is probably going to be the SMT side. Eh, not that much circuitry. I mean, there are a fair amount of resistors and uh, two diodes. Looks like one uh, full weight bridge rectifier. And then some isolation from the high voltage for the relay. So what we're going to do is we're going to bypass the relay so that the relay is always on. It doesn't matter what position the relay is in. So at this point, I'm going to be using 12 gauge copper wire which is solid, to bridge the gap between hot and the normally open contact of the relay. All right, here's the solder drawing I just performed. Not the best solder drawing in the world, but that is quite a bit of copper, so current can pass through there quite easily, and I'm not that concerned. Looking at the PCB traces, it's not that thick for the current to pass through. So having that gauge, which is uh, 12 gauge copper wire, I feel pretty comfortable using that to uh, pass all the power needs that I'll be using. And I'm not really passing that much current through it. I'm just using this for peripheral devices on my PC, such as my scanner, uh, power to an external hard drive, and my Raspberry Pi. So not much power is gonna be drawn through that junction there, but Best to use the highest gauge I had available. All right, let's uh, seal this back up and see if it works. All right, I put all the screws back in. This thing's all nicely put back together. It has been plugged into an outlet. Now let's go ahead and hit the on switch. Both lights are on. That's a good sign, nothing blew up. Now let's plug in the overhead light. I need to unplug it first. And I'm plugging it into a master controlled outlet. So. Uh, before the mod, this wouldn't turn on. And the light does turn on with nothing in the master. So my quick little modification there has bypassed the master control for master controlled outlet zero, one, two, and three. Now let's just double check to see if the non-masters work. Yep. And let's check the master. Yep, that one works too. So, this product has now been hacked. It's a simple modification. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but it's pretty easy to do with a high-powered soldering iron and a piece of copper. All right, guys, take care, and uh, I'll make a new video soon, hopefully.